All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today we are at Airy Force One. No, not actually. Um, we're at Aries Resort here in Grafton, Illinois. Um, today is October 1st, 2022. They just opened a brand new Alpine coaster, mountain coaster uh, up here. And uh, I'm gonna go check it out. I'm here for a Cardinals game. I'm not actually going to Six Flags St. Louis or anything, uh, cause this really is very close to St. Louis. But we are here to ride this uh, mountain coaster. So hopefully I'm able to film on ride. Um, I'm assuming I will be. I'm trying to promote their place, so hopefully that's possible. Um, it's not here. We actually parked here. We're gonna walk across over there to where this, there's a ski lift area over there, and then you go up and get your tickets there. So that's where we're gonna go. Okay, so as you can see, there's this um, huge, there's some gondolas on it, and there's also uh, what I would call ski lift chairs on it, or sky lift chairs, and it takes you all the way up there, which, I can't even see the end of it from here. It's like real Knobles vibes, kinda. Um, but yeah, so it is $10 to ride this round trip um, to get all the way up there and then all the way back down here, which is a little expensive. And then once you're up there, the Alpine coaster is $18, which compared to a lot of other Alpine coasters I've ridden, specifically in Branson and um, uh, the Smoky Mountains, Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, uh, this is a little bit pricey compared to those. However, uh, hopefully it's going to be a, a cool experience with riding in these all the way up there. And uh, hopefully the mountain coaster itself is pretty good. Um, I've heard compared to like Colorado though, this might not be super expensive. So we're going to go uh, up on these, check it out and um, see how it goes. Those are the uh, enclosed gondolas. Apparently they are... Um, not air conditioned like at all so it can be like really hot in there that's why we're on the ski chair sky lift thing ski lift thing I don't know we're going all the way up there we just started I mean this is a nice area it's pretty nice but I didn't expect there to be a, an alpine coaster in Illinois but seeing all the uh, hills and mountains well, not really mountains but like elevation changes and hills around here especially that in front of us I guess it makes sense. It's the first one in Illinois and it just opened, so I'm excited to go ride it. We just gotta wait till we're up there. So now we're almost at the top. We're getting off right here. There's the coaster, a little bit of it. I don't know if anyone's gonna come by at all, but um, it's right there. I'm excited to ride it. I'm, oh, there's someone coming by right now. Yep, he's going fast. Hopefully they let me film on ride. They didn't say anything about not doing it. Here's the view from up here. I'll probably get that on the way down so I don't have to turn around. And um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. All right, so here's the building for it. Obviously we saw it go down right over there. We're going in, here are the prices. And uh, let's go. You go right out the entrance here and you go straight down. I'm assuming these are the ones lift at the end type. Looks really cool. I'm very excited. Eighty feet, 160 feet. Dude, he's at least 300 feet ahead of me, if not more. Straight track, yes, my favorite part. I love straight track. He's nowhere to be found, my dad. <laughs> this is cool. They just opened this, so it's like brand new. All the trees are just freshly cut down. My skid brakes. Woo! Oh, yeah. This is awesome. I need, I need some steeper sections. More straight track. Let's go. Woo. Cheetah hunt. Oh. Let's go. Woo. Oh. I don't like the trims on the turns, but it's okay. Woo. Oh, that was kind of short. Not gonna lie. We're gonna go up on the lift off after this and I'll talk about it in a little bit. Slow down, it's stopping me. 
very excited. Let's do this. 80 feet, 160 feet. Dude, he's at least 300 feet ahead of me, if not more. There's trims. There's trims on this. Oh, laterals. Straight track, yes, my favorite part. I love straight track. He's nowhere to be found, my dad. This is cool. They just opened this, so it's like brand new. All the trees are just freshly cut down. My skid brakes. Woo! Oh, yeah. This is awesome. I need, I need some steeper sections. More straight track. Let's go. Woo! Cheetah hunt. Oh. Go! Woo! Oh! I don't like the trims on the turns, but it's okay. Woo! Oh, that was kind of short, not gonna lie. But we're gonna go up on the lift up after this and I'll talk about it a little bit. Slow down, it's stopping me. Um, that ride was a lot of fun. It was over kind of fast. Um, it was a quick ride. Uh, I enjoyed it, had some good laterals, good air time. Not my number one Alpine coaster, but I, I think it was still a lot of fun. I would still recommend you come out here and try it. There's, it's not just the mountain coaster. They got a whole resort. They got zip lining. Obviously, you get to take up the, um, you get to take the ski lift or sky lift up here or whatever. Um, lift hill is at the end of the ride, uh, like I showed. Um, but yeah, I think maybe is a little bit pricey if you're coming up here just for the mountain coaster. You might want to enjoy some other things and take your time up here because um, I'm there's a lot they have a lot to offer up here and it's definitely not just a mountain coaster. Um, so if you're going to come up here and ride it, definitely check out some of the other stuff. Winery if you're uh, 21 years old, um, or I'm sure they have great food there as well. Um, maybe the zip line. It's a cool place, very cool place, very pretty. Um, the ride I'll give it a seven out of ten in terms of mountain coasters. Um, like I said, over quickly, but it was still fun. Um, not as many trims as some other ones I've ridden either. So um, I'm not gonna show the rest of the lift. I'm not taking a full POV or anything, um, but I'll, uh, I'll come back when I'm all the way up there. I thought I saw an armadillo, I did not. All right, so we just got off the ride. It's right over there. And um, like I said, there's a whole resort winery up here. Um, it is not just the mountain coaster, so um, there's a lot to do. Definitely, if you come up here, explore Aries Terrace, uh, the winery, all that. Definitely come up here for all of it. Um, we're about to head back down now, and I'll show a few views of what you can see on the way down uh, because it's definitely better than what you can see on the way up. But uh, let's go. This is the view on the way down from the resort. Up there is the uh, winery coaster and we're back on the sky lift thing and we're going back down you can see the river if you looked really hard i don't know if you can see it in the video but over there is st louis but I, I doubt you can see that in the video i can barely see it in real life but um yeah i guess people live up here in apartments which would be really cool to live up here um it seems awesome like a cool place and yeah i'll let you know when we get down not down that way down that way all right, so we just got back down to the ground level. Um, and so let me get my final thoughts here. I thought this is a really, really cool place, really cool resort, and you guys should come out and check it out absolutely 100%. Now, I think it's a little bit farther away than a lot of enthusiasts are gonna want from Six Flags St. Louis, but um, it's like just close enough to make sense to do them both in one trip. Um, I had a lot of fun, it was a good time, it's a little bit expensive, but if you're willing to pay and then enjoy the place around here, it's definitely worth it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.